Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through my current everyday makeup bin. This is a lot of products that I am testing for upcoming videos, products that I already know that are really dependable that I can reach for very quickly. This is definitely kind of like the priority line of my makeup. It it's right in front of me. It is the makeup that I need to try out first. And I also kind of use this bin as the quick makeup station because summer is getting crazy. A lot of fun stuff, but I need to like get my makeup on, know what's going to look good and be out the door. So it's definitely a few of those makeup products as well. The first product I want to talk about is from Beauty Pie. They are sponsoring a portion of today's video. If you are a frequent viewer of my channel, then you know that I have worked with beauty pie before and the reason why I'm always happy to work with them is that the formulas they perform and you guys know that is for me uh, number one does the formula perform and is it consistent and with a powder bronzer that is something that it, it's high stakes for me because I am personally usually a fan of cream bronzers, but Beauty Pie has recently launched their awesome bronze powder bronzer. And I was really excited to try it out because again, powder bronzers for me are very hit or miss. I've tried a ton of like very expensive powder bronzers and haven't had luck. They just look really muddy and kind of choppy on me. However, this, powder bronzer is certainly not that. First of all, the powder itself is super finely milled, which is definitely key with a powder bronzer. But not only that, it just gives you a really pretty luminous look without being like a visibly sparkly bronzer. I don't really notice where the bronzer necessarily starts and stops in like a really stark way. And that to me is always a good sign of a good bronzer. One that can really mesh into the rest of the makeup and give you that ultra sun-kissed look that looks like it's natural. They incorporated Ceramide NP3 in here as well as squalane. So we've got fatty acids on deck. I mean, this is super luxurious. So I have two of the lighter shades. Um, I have the shade Sunny Side, which is on this cheek. Personally, for me, if you have fair skin um, and you struggle to find a bronzer that isn't super warm and orange, I am blown away by this shade. It really is like the true look of what my skin naturally bronzes, which if you can't tell, this is not my natural bronze color, but this shade is perfection. But I also have the light shade, which is Goldilocks. And this is also what is on this side of my face. And this shade's a little bit better for when I'm self tanned. Again, it's not overly orange like they just did a really good job with these undertones this one leans a little bit more yellow whereas sunny side leans a little bit more pink but again when i tan naturally it's a little bit more pink so personally for me uh sunny side is just perfection these are refillable by the way which i think is so great typical price would be 50 dollars, but you can buy it for 25 and then if you need to refill, the refill is only 15. So if you prefer a really smooth, slightly luminous bronzer that isn't overly sparkly by any means, I mean, this has a very perfect finish and texture. I am definitely impressed by these. I also have a couple of their collagen lip oils in here. And really my favorite way to use these are as like a height, like a true hydrating prep product shade shimmering um this one is really great if i just need like a true lip balm prep product as i start my makeup they're incredibly softening and buttery if you guys are a fan of a liquid lip balm texture this is essentially like a liquid lip balm it really nourishes envelops the lips it has that really comfortable buttery formula rather than you know like a slippy slippy lip oil texture so this is definitely my preference. They are 950 and typically they are 30. By the way, um, if you guys aren't familiar with Beauty Pie, it's essentially like a membership club. So you pay annually for access to like these low prices with like 
super luxurious formulas. That's kind of their thing. I think it comes out to like $5-ish a month, but I do have a coupon code um, down below. Amanda Z sent me for $10 off. And I think there might even be an option to do like a free trial of their membership in case you guys want to give it a go. I also have another lip product in here from Dior. Um, and this is the Dior Addict Refillable Lipstick. Um, and it's the shade Bandana. Yeah, and this shade, I saw it in store and was very attracted to it. Um, I do already have my e.l.f. Uh, lip liner that I'm gonna talk about in a second on, but I might as well add a little bit. I really like it because for me, it's the perfect combination of like my favorite like terracotta kind of shade and like a cooler brown too. Like it, it, it works, it, it works, but it was expensive. Um, and I don't know if it's worth it yet. You know, I'm on the fence with this shade is a 10 out of 10 for me. So I'm glad I applied that so I can keep giving it a go. Next, I have my uh, good old Kevin Aquan eyelash curler in here. I would rather like not even bother with mascara if I have not curled my lashes. Investing in a good quality lash curler, I can't even say it enough. This one won't pull out the lashes. It will be gentle, but it will also hold that curl up. I don't actually know if I've ever mentioned this, the first YouTube video I ever did was not a review on this eyelash curler. It was a review of the Shiseido eyelash curler, which I also recommend. I loved it. It was like literally taken on like photo booth and I uploaded it on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I have it privated because it wasn't when I like truly started my YouTube channel. I started my YouTube channel like, you know, five years ago. Good times. I was a fan of it. I was so compelled by the eyelash curler that I had to like go online and like talk about it. Which I guess was kind of a foreshadowing. Now this is a product that I need to try. I recently picked it up um, and it's from Morphe 2 and it's one of their compacts with like basically like a full face of makeup in here except for like you know foundation um, so it has an eyeshadow on the top it has a cheek um, a lip and then a highlight cream highlight and I oh you know what I'm gonna say that's a satisfying click yeah there, there's something to that click I don't try a lot of Morphe. Um, occasionally though, Morphe 2 does intrigue me. Um, and this was one of those products that I was like, hmm, there could be something to it. What called to me was this shade up at the top. By the way, this uh, quad is fresh peach, but look at this shade. It is super pretty and wet looking. Um, so I was like, huh, maybe, maybe there's something to this. Again, I'm not sure, I have not tried it out, so that's why it's in here. I want to get a good feel for it. And two other products that I also need to get a feel for, both are from e.l.f. Um, I have the Luminous Putty Blush in the shade uh, Maui. This so far is working really well for me. I thought that this blush was just going to be like a putty blush with sparkle in it, but it's not. It's really fresh on the cheeks, so I am really excited about it. I kind of want the shade Bermuda now. I saw it in stores and I was like, uh, should I buy it? And I did not, but if you guys have tried out that shade, let me know if you like it. Uh, but so far so good. I've really just been impressed with e.l.f. lately. Um, and I also have one of the No Budge cream shadows. I have a bunch that I'm trying out, but in specific, I wanna try and create a look with Golden Rays. You can see I did try already once, and I don't know how I liked, at least on the artistry side, I don't know if I liked the look that I put together with it, but the way it performed on the eyes was really good. I think if I do like just solid color with just this on the eyes, do a little mascara, Era. A very bronzy look for like the beach. I think that that would look really pretty So I definitely want to try this out a lot of this makeup is going to end up getting thrown into like my travel makeup bag Because I am going on a couple of like short beach trips. So again, I'm excited to try that Let's go into the next compartment over here Kosas revealer concealer is in here in the shade 2.5 of course it is. <laughs> you guys already know the deal by now. But here is actually a repurchase product. This is from Honest Beauty and it is the cream cheek and lip color in the shade Coral Peach. Oh my gosh. 
This has been a favorite of mine for years. You can go back on my channel and uh, check it out. All of the reviews and mentions of this product, but um, my original one did eventually go bad and this is the updated package. It is aluminum, it's very nice. This is one of the best cream blushes on the market. Um, I, I really can't say enough good things about it. It is such a fuss-free, easy to work with formula, which is kind of a theme of my summer makeup. I want those like dependable products. So this, yes, very, very good. If you haven't tried them, I highly suggest it. And today I actually used another Beauty Pie favorite to apply it, as well as the Awesome Bronze. It is the Seamless Foundation Buffing Brush. If there is one beauty pie product that I would recommend over and over and over. It's this one. It has blown me away, you guys. It is so dependable. It's truly seamless. It works well with powders, with balm um, foundations. It works well with creams. It's typically $45, but it's actually $12.50. It's definitely one of the best brushes that I've ever used despite price. It is super soft and insanely, insanely luxe. I used seriously the same brush and went into the Honest Beauty cream blush. And because this blush works really well with powders, you know, with really most makeup bases, it applied perfectly. But because this also applies both creams and powders really beautifully, it was like, it was so fuss free and easy. So I'm excited to just keep finding more ways to use this. I did actually set my face a little bit. Um, this is the Westman Atelier Vital Pressed Skincare Powder. Now this is expensive. They sent this to me and I don't honestly know if I would have purchased it. Just because you guys know, I have a love hate relationship with a lot of setting powders. A lot of them can just look so dry so dry on my skin. This one is really, really nice. Again, it's super, super finely milled and on my skin, you know, it doesn't look powdery. It just kind of takes down the shine and melts into the skin to help with, you know, longevity of the makeup. So far, so good with this one. Now let's talk about the one shadow that I have on my eyes. It's from Tarte. It's the Sugar Eye Smoothie Cream Shadow in the shade Move. And I am just testing this one out, so I don't know, you know, my final thoughts, but so far, I really like it. The shade is really pretty. Um, but also just the texture. It's really easy to blend and it's easy to work with. I do think that they could come out with more shades. Um, the shades are pretty, they at least seem pretty similar, but it's really easy to work with. Kind of reminiscent of the Eyes to Mesmerize from Charlotte Tilbury, except a little bit thinner. Um, but in general, I'm I'm really liking it so far. Um, you know, I want kind of a one and done shadow look typically. Uh, so that is what I have been using just to get out the door. And then lastly, I have the e.l.f. Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner. And this is the shade Light Brown. It is, again, the lip liner that I was wearing all over my lips at the beginning of the video. And this is just one of my favorite liners. It's just so easy. I love the color. I love the shape. It's really easy to get like a nice crisp line with this, which is not always the case. Um, I just find that my liner always looks good with this. It's affordable and all of the shades that I've used have been really pretty. And I enjoy that it's a little bit more of a stiff formula, but it's not like dry either. Um, just a nice balanced product. Again, like one of those dependable makeup products. Now moving on into this last section of makeup, I do have a couple of base products. Um, I'm wearing today the It Cosmetics CC Nude Glow SPF 40 and it's the shade Light. Now this is basically just kind of um, a thinner version of the traditional It Cosmetics CC cream. It's a little bit more long wearing, I have found as well. I bought the shade Light. I also have the shade 
fair as well, but I wanted to buy this one just, you know, for self tanning days and for the beach. It's just such an easy, fresh makeup product. It's never going to look dry. It never looks heavy on the skin. It's easy to build up or sheer out. You know, it's just one of those easy products. I didn't know what to expect from the Nude Glow um, CC Cream, but this is really, really beautiful. And I think it's certainly better than the CC Illumination from Egg Cosmetics. That is literally the Cosmetics CC Cream with sparkle added to it. But if you are in the market and you want like a thinner version of the original Egg Cosmetics CC Cream, um, this, is, this is that product. I also have the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Foundation Stick, and this is the shade three. This is nice to kind of just scribble onto the skin. Um, I wanna get a better feel for this because I have not used it enough, but first impressions are also really good with this one. Really, really melts into the skin. And if I use like the buffing foundation brush with the Westman Atelier, it like, it's such a fast base situation, which is definitely what I've been needing. Now for primer, I have the Say Glowy Super Gel, and this is the shade Sun Glow. Have talked about this many times, but if I am self tanning, which I happen to be right now, this is what I use to kind of match my body with my face without self tanning my face. So it's really good for like quick, I gotta get, things going, like matching kind of product. I can use it on its own, just over sunscreen. That's especially good for like the beach. Um, I also use this as a primer. I did that today. It's just an all around really good product to have for the summer. By the way, I might as well mention this uh, while I've got you guys here. I tried out the Verse to Mood Lighting Glow Drops as like a potential alternative to the Say. Um, I bought the shade Bronzed. I don't think that it is an alternative in my opinion. I prefer like the gel water based texture of this product. This never really wants to blend into my skin. It kind of is just an awkward product. Whereas this is kind of that translucent bronze gel item that I think is just more versatile, goes well with a lot of formulas. So in general, this is the one that I would lead you guys towards if you're looking for a product like that. For mascara, I just have one mascara in here. It's from Beauty Pie, the Uber Volume Boost. So they also have a brown and I had it and I can't find it. I would like to purchase it because brown mascara in the summer is so freaking pretty. And my sister has been really liking brown mascara, so I wanna pick it up for her and have her try it. But this is typically 30, you can get it for 12. Nine times out of 10, I'm probably wearing this mascara if you guys check out any of my videos. It's just a really dependable, fluffy, voluminous look, which I really like. I find that sometimes like a bad mascara look can really like mess with my whole makeup. I really like for my eyes to look wide open and I want that fluffy lash look. I don't want anything heavy or super distracting. And this is just that perfect balance between, you know, framing the eyes, giving you volume and richness without being like, whoa, what's going on there? So it's like the perfect natural mascara for me. Now I also have this little mini of the Skylar Coconut Cove fragrance. I like to keep that in here just so I remember to put it on because, whew, that is good. It's just a really, nice basic coconut smell. There isn't like a ton going on with it, but I like that it's not overly sweet. Um, it's kind of like a restrained coconut. Definitely some little bits of sunscreen kind of smell going in there. For me, you know, for the summer, for the beach, this is definitely like such a nice product to have on hand. Just get the summer vibes going. And speaking of summer vibes, uh, this is for me a go-to this summer. It is the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Mattifying Long Wear Makeup Fixing Spray. 16 hours. This is definitely my go-to setting mist this summer. It locks in my makeup without overly mattifying or drying out my skin. It's an aggressive mist, but the mist itself is fine. So I look past it. Um, it's affordable. So I've been reaching for this a lot to set my makeup. And lastly, for the brows, I've been using a no-brainer, which is the Patrick Tom Major Brow Lamination Gel. Really good if you really wanna 
make sure the brows are up and lifted and wide awake. And that is everything, you guys. So I will leave all of these products linked down below for you guys. I will leave the Beauty Pie uh, promo code for you for $10 off. Thank you again to Beauty Pie for sponsoring the video, but thank you to you guys. I hope you're having a good one and I will see you guys in my next one.